Hey everybody, I'm John McCoy, production manager at GD Chillers. I'm going to run through some of the electrical requirements of your chiller and the frequently asked questions associated with that. Here I've got a spec sticker, factory installed, on the control panel of every chiller that we send out of our facility. Right here you can see you've got your model number, so depending on the model of your chiller, the voltages and, and requirements are going to change a little. Down here we've got uh, 208 up to 240 volt. Um, the chiller doesn't care either in three phase or single phase. It'll operate with any of those voltages. We also offer chillers in 480, 460 volt, three phase. Custom voltages upon request are also a possibility for GD chillers. Down here you've got your RLA, which is the run load amps of the machine. And here you've got the MOC and the MCA. This is what we're going to use to size the breaker for your machine. We definitely need to make sure that you have a certified electrician verifying all of these. Uh, all this information for you to make sure that it gets installed properly. You want to break your size between the MCA and the MOC. The MCA is a minimum circuit amperage. That's the minimum amount of amps we need to supply the machine. The MOC is the maximum overcurrent protection. That's the maximum amount of amps you want to have fed to that machine at any given time. If you have any questions regarding electrical requirements of your machine, don't hesitate to give us a call or jump on our website.